What's going on guys? Welcome to Tech Savvy Buyer. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can take your modded beta to the next level by putting on some cool applications that really offer a lot of value. So today we're gonna to focus specifically on installing Adrenaline, which basically lets you run PSP games and PS1 games on your Vita, as well as installing Package, which is an app that lets you get different games for free. So in this tutorial, the first thing you're gonna to need to have for this to work out for you is a modified Vita. Now, for those of you guys who don't have a modified Vita, go ahead and click up here or follow a link in the description below to watch a video of mine on showing you how to modify your Vita. So this is a super simple video, very easy to follow, and it should be very, very intuitive for you guys to understand and basically make sure that you come out of the video with a Vita that has the following applications, just like mine does. Now, as part of this video, I will also be downgrading my PS Vita, which is firmware 3.73 as part of my previous video, back down to firmware 3.68. You guys are welcome to install pretty much any firmware you want, although I personally like 3.68 just because it has a lot less compatibility issues and has been known to work with all the different apps available for the PS Vita. Now, before we go ahead and get started, let's get a word from today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by GVGmall.com. GVG Mall carries a wide variety of game currencies and gift cards that you could use to take your gaming to the next level. If you're looking for a fresh copy of Windows or Microsoft Office, then you can certainly find those on GVGmall.com as well. They're are priced very competitively and offer legit copies of Microsoft software. You can pick up a copy of Windows 10 Pro for under 15 bucks. Visit gvgmall.com for more information and use code TSB to save during checkout. Okay guys, so let's kick off. So the first thing we need to do is connect our Vita to our PC. So go ahead and scroll down, open up Vita Shell. Again, reminder that you guys have to make sure that your Vita is modified for this step of apps to work. Go ahead and connect your Vita to the computer with a physical cable and press select. Once you press select, you'll see a USB connected sign pop up and you should see a folder open on your desktop. Now, once you head over to your PC, this is the pop-up window that should come up once you plug in your Vita. And these are all the folders that you're gonna see at this moment. The first thing that I want you guys to do is enable your hidden files extensions and enable your hidden files altogether. So to do that, if you're using Windows 7 or 10, you can click on view on the top and just check the box for hidden items. You should see all of these generate. Now, a lot of you guys have had issues with this step in the past, so I'm gonna simplify it even further. If when you tick this, you do not see this, hit the Windows key so you get a pop-up like that. Start typing in File Explorer Options. Once you type that in, you should get this window pop up. Head over to view. And in this section, you wanna make sure that your hidden files and folders is checked over there. And you wanna make sure that you uncheck hide extensions, hide empty drives, and hide protected operating system files. These three should be unchecked. Go ahead and click okay, and then you should be able to see all these files as it is. Now that we have access to our Vita's memory card inside, what we're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and start installing a whole bunch of different apps to it. But first, to do that, we need to download those. Now, in order for us to start copying stuff over to our Vita, we are first going to need to download some of these different files to get this stuff to work. So the first thing we're gonna do is download a new firmware because we are going to be downgrading, as promised, part of this video. So visit the link in the description for dartsterny.net and you'll be presented with this page. You guys need to scroll down over to complete official firmwares and on that section click on next until you get to your desired firmware again i'm going to be sticking with 3.68 as you can see the file size is 302 megabytes that's how you know you're getting the right one go ahead and click on firmware 3.68 and begin to download that while that downloads in the background we can go ahead and start downloading some other files now the other one we want to get is PKGJ, which essentially is a platform for us to go ahead and grab some new games and grab a different bunch of stuff that will be useful on your Vita. So click on this link that's in the description, go ahead and go down to pkgj.vpk for version 0.54 and download that file as well. You should see the download link start on the bottom of your screen there if you're using Chrome. Next thing we're gonna to wanna to grab is Auto Plugin 1. So we're not gonna be downloading version 4.21, we're actually gonna get 4.20 Final Cut. Go ahead and click on that. And you can see that they have the VPK inside and make sure you begin downloading that as well. Next, we're gonna head over and download Adrenaline. This is so that you can play all of your PSP games on your Vita. It actually emulates the PSP really well. Click on the latest version, which is 6.61, and we're gonna download the VPK for that as well. And last but not least, we're going to download Midoru. 
This is the app that's used to actually downgrade your Vita. So we'll go ahead and click download from Midoru version 2.1. Make sure that it's this version guys, this is very important. If you don't use this version and you're on 3.73, you will risk bricking your Vita, so pay close attention. Just make sure that you're using version 2.1. Now that we have all of our files downloaded, we can go ahead and start off by extracting the firmware first. So select all of it, click extract. We're gonna go over to our desktop and we're gonna use a new folder that we've created for today's video, which is 2020 Vita Mod Guide. Now essentially you wanna put all of these files inside there. But before we do anything else, the next step is going to be to make sure we gather our Vita firmware ready, make sure that's absolutely ready to go, and we'll have that installed onto our Vita. So remember we enabled all the hidden extensions so that you're actually able to see this. This allows you to access certain files and folders that you're gonna need as part of downgrading and part of doing other stuff as well. Let's head over to the new folder that we created. And from here, we're going to make sure that we get the file that is does not say pre, does not say system data, it's just the plain one. The other two you can go ahead and just delete out of there. You really need to just keep this file. We're gonna go ahead and extract this again, and we're gonna take out the PSP2 update.pup file, and we'll just click extract, okay? It should have brought it into another folder here. Go ahead and just move this, cut it out, and paste it into the root folder. Now that we have this update file, we have all these, we can go ahead and actually get rid of these files since we will not be needing these at this moment. Get rid of that as well. So this is the update file that you should be looking for at this point. Now this is the root of our Vita. So what we want to do at this point is we want to copy over the application Midoru, the one that we downloaded. So head over to your downloads and you should see Midoru as one of the files that's been downloaded. Go ahead and drag and copy that over to your Vita. Now make sure you delete any instances that you see like this in case you have duplicate entries of it just make sure it's named Midoru.vpk. At this point we can go back to the Vita and begin our downgrade process. So back on the Vita we are now able to access that file Midoru which we installed or loaded onto the memory. So head over to UXO in Vita shell, hit X and scroll all the way on the bottom and you should see Midoru.vpk is there. Click X, go ahead and install. Follow through any prompts. And once it's installed, you can exit out of Vita Shell and you should see Midoru load up on one of the screens. In this case, it was all the way on the bottom. Click on Midoru, click start. And the reason we start up the app first is so that it can create folders inside the Vita, which we're gonna need to target in copying over our firmware. So this tells you that my current firmware is 3.73 and that my factory firmware was 1.61. So it's actually a very old Vita. Came with the factory 1.61. That means that's the absolute lowest firmware that I'm actually able to take it down to. So I will not be able to bring this down below 1.61. Doesn't matter since we're doing 3.68 for this video. But once you see that, you can go ahead and close out. Now head back over to Vita Shell. and hit select so you can get connected right back to your computer. All right guys, so now that we are back onto the computer and you're reconnected through Vita Shell, you're gonna wanna open up the app folder, open up Midoru, and inside the Midoru root folder, we're going to copy over that PSP update file that we had downloaded or extracted. So head over to the other file that's on your desktop or wherever you created that folder and we're gonna drag and drop this file right here inside Midoru. All right, once that's copied over, let's head right back over to the Vita. All right, now that we've got the software actually copied over, we can go ahead and cancel out of this. We can exit Vita Shell altogether. We wanna go back to Midoru. We're gonna click Start again. Now it tells you to disable all your plugins first before using the software. Now, if you keep getting this screen, like I apparently am getting right here, we're gonna need to restart our Vita from the beginning, run HN Core 2, and load up the app again. We'll try it one more time just before we go ahead and restart. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do a quick reboot, and then I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so our Vita is rebooted. 
we're gonna need to run H on core again. This is a soft hack, remember that, which means every time you reboot your system or the battery dies or something, you're gonna have to click H on core so that everything works, and then just click exit. And that's all. Sometimes it may cause your system to reboot, that's completely normal. Just restart and click H on core again if you get any issues with it. So we're gonna scroll back over to Midoru again. I click start. Now you can see it's detecting the target firmware that we installed or copied onto the memory. And it's asking, do you want to downgrade from 3.73 to 3.68? We're gonna go ahead and click X and hit yes. Don't worry about the prompt or anything. It says, I've done this so many times and nothing will happen. Just make sure you have the right files and that you guys are following this correctly. We're gonna go ahead and hit X again after 20 seconds to accept the terms and conditions. And we're going to let it continue copying over files into the folders. So now you can sit back and let Maduro do its thing. All right, once it is complete downgrading, it should have rebooted and finished the update process all on its own. And to verify, we're gonna go into our settings. We're gonna scroll down to our system, look at system information, and you can see we are back on 3.68 now. Best part is, since we already have HON Core installed, we do not need to install it again. Just run it. And this time we're gonna click install Hinkaku, and then we're gonna exit. Let's go ahead and open up Vita Shell. Go ahead and hit select again. Now we're gonna connect back over to our computer and copy the remaining files over. All right guys, back over on our PC, all we're gonna do is copy over the files that we downloaded to our Vita drive. So once connected again, you should be presented with the screen and this is actually the last step with a PC. So we'll go ahead and copy over Adrenaline. We will copy over Auto Plugin and PKGJ. And that is all the stuff that we have enabled for this and we can disconnect our Vita from the computer and you can go ahead and power your computer off for the next set of steps. Once you've got your files all copied over, you can go ahead and cancel. And now we can scroll down to the files that we just copied over. And one by one, we can begin installing them. So we'll start off with installing Adrenaline first. Next, we'll start with Auto Plugin. And last, we'll install PKGJ. All right, once all of that stuff is installed, we can go ahead and exit out of Vita Shell and scroll down to see all your latest apps have been installed. Now you can see, since I re-updated my system, all of my games that were on here are all gone at this point. But that's okay, we'll get them back. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna run Auto Plugin. Click Start. Now, Auto Plugin can actually be used for using an SD to Vita adapter with your card when you get an SD card, but I have a separate tutorial out for that and I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to check that out. Now it's gonna present you with an update screen. Go ahead and cancel that. We don't need an update for now. Just exit out of that. Follow through for plugins for Vita. We wanna do install plugins and we're gonna scroll down to no NPDRM by the official flow version 1.2. We'll go ahead and click X to install this. We're gonna go and scroll down to the next one and we're gonna click X to install this as well. Now just to be safe and make sure this plugin is installed everywhere, go ahead and click triangle and you can see that the path has been changed on the bottom. Install it again in that new path and do the same for the previous one. Okay, and to exit, just hit start and it's gonna tell you that your Vita system is going to restart. Once our Vita is restarted, go back in we're gonna have to do a quick run of HN Core. Just click exit. And you should still see the same apps there. Now that we have Nkaku running, we can go ahead and click on PKG just to verify that it works. Now it should tell you no items there, try to refresh. You're gonna click triangle. You're gonna scroll down to refresh. So in case you get that error, all you're gonna do is close out, 
reopen and it should generate just fine. You should see a list of all the different PS Vita games that are available that are region free and to download them it's as simple as selecting which one you want, clicking X and installing the game. So now that we have PKG installed we're going to focus on getting PSP emulator or adrenaline up and running on this. So go ahead and click on adrenaline, click start. That's going to prompt you to download the latest firmware since that download did not obviously include the entire software. Go ahead and click X. It's going to begin downloading the latest PSP firmware. Once the download is complete, it automatically exited the app. So we'll go ahead and reopen it again. And this time it should prompt us to go ahead and install the firmware we just downloaded. All right. Once it's finished installing, go ahead and click X so that you can boot into the PSP emulator. And as you guys can see, it brings you up to a brand new setup of a PSP. And we have the original menu, just like the original PSP. All right, now to exit out of the PSP, you have to double click the home button and that's how it gives you the option to close out. And that's pretty much how easy it is to install these apps. So now with these apps, you have access to playing your PSP games or your PS1 games as well. And you can also download any Vita game that you want through package. So welcome back guys. That is pretty much the end of this video. And as you guys can see, we had successfully installed all the different apps that we needed to. And as we promised, on your PS Vita. Now again, guys, if you ever have any trouble with doing any of this stuff, feel free to reach out to me in the comments below. Feel free to send me an email and I'll try and do whatever I can to give you guys some help. If you wanna support my channel so I can give you more one-to-one -one help with your Vita and actually even let you ship it over to me and I can modify it for you, do whatever it is that you want, send it back to you, consider supporting me on Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to go ahead and give support to the channel. But as always, if this video was helpful for you, go ahead and smash that like button. If you guys did have some problems along the way and you need a little bit of help, again, just let me know in the comments comments below. As always, guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you help support the channel. And as always, stay safe out there, stay smiling, and I'll see you guys on my next one. Peace out.